not disobey. Resident Evil 4 was a revelation. <laughs> By melding the haunting atmosphere of its predecessors with a more refined approach to busting zombies, it rose above the clumsiness that defined earlier survival horror games. But although it altered the trajectory of an entire genre, was that change for the better? What are we gonna do, Let's explore. I hate to say it, but we're sandwiched, all right. Quick, in that cabin! <laughs> Early survival horror games emphasized helplessness. In Resident Evil, Chris Redfield and Jill Valentine were overmatched members of a task force that took on a seemingly unbeatable undead army. Knowing when to fight and when to flee were paramount for survival. The same idea held true in Silent Hill. Harry Mason was just an ordinary father in search of his missing daughter. With limited ammunition and even less skill with those weapons, running away from monsters was often the only way you could succeed. By making the enemies more powerful than your character, a feeling of vulnerability permeated early games in the genre. One false step could be your last, so you moved slowly, jumping at every sound and eyeing shadows with extreme caution. You were never calm, never sure of yourself. This fear existed because the soulless creatures could overwhelm you, so you relied on your brains more than your brawn to brave the darkened night. Everything changed when Resident Evil 4 came out. Shifting the awkward shooting to third-person precision empowered your character in ways never before seen in the genre. The zombies keeled over at your feet after you landed an explosive headshot. Upgrading your gear gave you even more confidence. So as you eyed a small horde of demons closing in, you steadied your aim instead of running in fear. It was a sharp contrast from previous survival horror entries, but one that worked because of how expertly the game was constructed. Smart pacing in varied locales kept you unnerved despite your shooting proficiency, and the unexpected frights ensured every shadowy corner hit a terrifying mystery. Critical and commercial acclaim vaulted Resident Evil 4 toward the top of the survival horror realm, and developers weren't shy to latch onto that latest trend. Dead Space carried over the tense atmosphere from the original survival horror games, but the action followed on the heels of the fourth Resident Evil. No longer did you fear enemies, you welcomed conflict. Slicing enemies to pieces with carpentry tools was hellacious fun. So even though the tension was often palpable, you continued forth in search of new monsters to eviscerate. Dead Space, like Resident Evil 4, was a great game, but it became clear that the lonely fear that embodied earlier survival games was quickly becoming a thing of the past. Dead Space 2 put a further emphasis on action. And Silent Hill Homecoming slanted so far away from its moody franchise that it was almost part of a separate series. Resident Evil has seen the biggest shift. Forcing a cooperative ally in Resident Evil 5 stifled the little terror it offered. And Resident Evil 6 was so preoccupied with explosive set-piece sequences that any semblance of scares had been left by the wayside. Big budget survival horror games are on their deathbed. A new genre has emerged in its place, something closer to gothic action. Long gone are the days when full price games sported overmatched protagonists in eerie environments. Now you take the role of action heroes slaying the undead in satisfying ways. Genuine fear has been replaced by typical video game power fantasies. I was trapped. I fell to the ground, gasping for air, trying to focus. That's when I saw a faint blue shimmer. There is still some hope for those who crave frights in their gaming. The independent scene has spawned small-scale offerings to build on what the original Resident Evil started. Yeah. 
Amnesia the Dark Descent and Lone Survivor flourish by putting you in control of weak characters in constant peril, and present a promising future for survival horror. But big budget fears have been virtually killed off. Resident Evil 4 was an amazing game when it was released but it started a trend that has all but vanquished an entire genre. The legacy of Resident Evil 4 is disturbing. Its excellence has transformed survival horror games forevermore, shunting them to the indie scene while AAA offerings revel in violence without fear.